Michael contacted me. His goal was to apologize. I had no reason to believe that his apology was even genuine. It felt more of, you got caught and that's why you want to say sorry. Saying that I'm sorry and that I'm a different man now, that doesn't mean anything. What I'd want to see him do is do something to help the community. Well, Michael admits he was never a Marine, was never injured in combat, and he never had a wife who had cancer or died in childbirth on the 4th of July. Well, during our extensive interviews and research, we found a number of things that Michael still isn't coming clean about. Michael, uh, you know, one of the things that I've found is that if there is a time where you say that you kind of want to hit the reset button and you want to come clean, people tend to say, Okay, I'm, I'm willing to consider that, but let's be honest now. Let's be honest about everything. Are you capable of doing that? Uh, yes, I am. Are you really? Because I wonder if you lie to yourself as well as to other people. No. You, you say that, for example, the hat that you wear, you say that has nothing to do with any of the scam but does it not have to do with the facade you present? Uh, when, when you met Travis at the hotel and you presented him with your Marine Corps business card, didn't you have your Marine Corps hat on at the same time? Yes, but I have to say, I've had that hat for five years. I've had that hat since 2013, way before all this happened. And the business card I didn't get till the end of July and I checked into the hotel June 16th. So I never handed Travis business card when I checked into the hotel because I didn't have the business cards then yet. I sat at, at the front desk of the hotel. You did provide me with that business card at the time. That's how we got on the topic of you being a Marine and why we met for coffee a couple days later. That is, that is a straight out lie. I, I came into the United States June 16th of 2016. I've had the business cards done uh, July 27th. Yeah, so I did not hand you, that is a lie, Travis. I'm really yeah. trying to help you here because yes, and I, am. I, I don't want you to do a modified mea culpa here. I, I want you to do a no. complete mea culpa here. I don't want you to come in and clean up half of the situation. I want you to clean up all clean of up the situation. I want to clean up the whole thing, Dr. Phil. Well, yes, I'm trying to clean up the whole thing. Did you lie about being in the military prior to Akaika passing? Uh, no. That is. Oh, 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 oh wait, what, was what that now? Again? Now you can. Now you can't hear me. Come on, bro. No, I didn't say I can't hear you. I, no, I didn't say I can't hear you. So can you repeat that, please? Because my earpiece slipped out. Okay. Did you lie to anybody <laughs> about being in the military prior to July fifth when I found a Kaika on Interstate five? Yes, I did. Okay. The lies began after the dog was killed on July 4th of 2016, and you said the first person you lied to was your ex-girlfriend. But that's what you told us, but you just now said to Travis that no, you had lied prior to that. Oops. Well, my girlfriend was the first one I met when I got off the, or the my girl, girlfriend was the first one I saw when I got off the airplane, so I did lie to her as well. That was Travis's question, did you lie? before Ikaiga's passing, and I said, yes, I did. I asked you if you had scammed people in Germany, you said no, but according to a news report, there were four women who claimed that you lied about being a military vet before you left Germany and moved to America. There was a question in there for you, sir. What was the question? According to a news report, Four German women claim that you lied to them about being a military vet before you left Germany and moved to America. Uh, that's not correct, sir. I, I lied to them about different things, but I didn't. I never claimed to be a military member be, until I got to the States. Okay, not 15 minutes ago, you told me you did not scam people in Germany. Now you're telling me you did scam I people in I Germany, just not about being I military. I, I lied to them, but I didn't tell them that I was in the military. Okay, that isn't what I asked you before. I asked you if you scammed people in Germany. You said no.